Welcome back, folks. Today we have a story of a small little island town with a cyber truck problem. So what are we talking about? We are talking about old Nantucket, Massachusetts right here. Let's zoom on in. Yep, they apparently have a lone cyber truck making the rounds around the island via access of the ferry, which is amazing because I didn't think ferries allowed electric vehicles on the boats due to the uh, potential fire hazard. Anyway, let's get into it. Let's go to their Twitter feed. It's called uh, Nantucket Current. So if you go through these, uh, these guys are just uh, local news or whatever they are. Let's go see real quick. Who are these guys? Uh, the, oh, it's Nantucket's news source. We deliver the news, stories, and people of the island online and to your inbox. All right, good enough. <laughs> they got 9,700 followers, 9,700 big daddies. A lot of diversity up there. All right, there we go. Let's get on down here. Hold on, other voting. Okay, let's go down to where the this the cyber truck makes its appearance. Dun 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 dun. Here we go. The now infamous cyber truck with Connecticut plates. Boo. Uh, was spotted today rolling off the Nantucket Ferry back to Hyannis. All right. There's the old Cybertruck. I'm amazed it runs. Oh, well. I am a Tesla shareholder. I am down 50% on the stock. I'm an idiot. I believed in the company and the product and did not think EVs would tank the way they have. No one's buying these things anymore. They are fire hazards. They are insurance uh, hazards. Once the thing's damaged, it's totaled due to the cost of repair. Charging stations are being uh, ripped off for the copper. The power cables are being cut for the copper. Uh, so you can't even charge anymore. You can't go to the charging stations. Uh, let's see. Uh, the mass weight of these things makes it uh, prohibitive. If you get into an accident with one of these beasts, you will be squished due to the uh, weight of the batteries. Uh, it's just a pain. I did have a Tesla Model S. I got rid of it. Uh, now I drove a little pit pickup truck to Tacoma. All right, but I thought I saw this story. I thought it was funny. They're apparently stalking a little cyber truck from Connecticut. Let's see. I saw him. How dare you assume it's a him? Uh, I saw him parked on Orange Street on Saturday, and I knocked on his window to ask him if uh, if if it's all a big stunt. What does that mean? He was on the phone when it rolled down the window. Eventually, I gave him my card and said, "Call me." So. Uh, it's kind of cringy, dude. From I, I, I get. I thought it was kind of going to be a joke, but you're kind of stalking the guy here. You're kind of harassing him. And to be honest, do not go up to a car window and knock on it. That's not the smartest move today. You do not want to. Yeah, you don't. You don't want to take the room uh, room temperature challenge, right? All right. So this is Nantucket guy is harassing the Tesla truck owner. Let's see. I'm still fifty fifty on what's going on here. Oh, here we go again. He is stalking this guy. The Nantucket newspaper trolls Tesla Cybertruck as it wreaks havoc on Tony Island. Nantucket newspaper trolls. Oh, it's in the New York Post. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So what happened here? Let's go. I'm going to I think there was something. Oh, it's just fire, fire, fire. All right. Fire, fire, fire. All right. So let's go look at this. We're going to the New York Post. So apparently what happened is um, the Cybertruck makes an appearance on Main Street right here, and he immediately parks on the crosswalk. It's not really marked. I mean, it's just brick and stone, but I get it. I get it. It's your small little town, and you don't want the outsiders to come in, but you do want their vacation tourist money. So you're kind of torn. What do you do? But uh, yeah, I don't see any markings to say do not park. So this guy, I don't know. I'm still on the fence here. You know, I like the Cybertruck, but I don't like it. Uh, the Nantucket guys are you know, definitely elitist to live up there. Uh, might be a Karen running around harassing this guy. So now we got the people right here crossing, blocking the crosswalk, supposed crosswalk. It's one of these historic ones, right? I guess you should just know. Uh, then you got him going to the beach. And he got beached. So he took his Tesla Cybertruck, $130,000 truck, with battery near saltwater, of all things. Dear God, don't take your freaking Tesla EV near any saltwater. 
even an e-bite. You do not want any water touching those cells. If they do, they will have thermal runaway and burn whatever. They'll just burn. Uh, trust me. We had massive fire here. Someone dropped their e-bike in the salt water. Decided to pull it out, put it back on their boat, thinking it was okay. And the thing went into thermal runaway and burnt the boat down, killed uh, the, one of the owners and the dog. It was not a good thing. The, it just, just, this is just an e-bike battery. So this guy probably has too much money for his own good. Went and bought one of these toys. Looks like uh, Elon Musk kid created it with his uh, pencil. Uh, it's just weird looking. I thought I'd like it, but I'm just not. I'm just not digging it. Uh, so anyway, he's out there. He got stuck. So this guy is definitely following him around, giving him a hard time. Uh, that's really weird. He's out on the beach with him. So anyway, we got this guy. He's trolling the old Tesla's Cybertruck. Has it wreaks havoc on Tony Island. Uh, let's see. What are the comments? LOL. So what's, the, what's their problem with it again? Doesn't say in the article. I know. The guy's just, I think he has a thing against uh, Tesla, the uh, Nantucket Twitter page. But let's get off this. Uh, let's see what else. I don't know what he's talking about here. I'm trying to read the article. Oh, he's just trolling him. He's picking on him. Oh, it's May 5th. Let's see. Let's go back. There's any more. There's some fire stuff in Nantucket. Oh, here we go again. So this is the original post. Let's go into it. So the Cybertruck got beached on Nantucket Beach today. Can't make it up. Uh, but to be fair, people do take their cars on this beach, there's trucks, any truck, and they do get stuck. Come on, it's not just, he's being, uh, I hate when they do this. It's kind of a lefty thing where you do selective outrage, and then you post about it, and it happens to any vehicle. So, I mean, come on, I'll, I'll give the, I'll give the, eh, you're complaining a little too much here, my brother. So let's click on this one. Oh, there he is. Is he sitting in it? Oh, he's sitting in it. They got the little baseball hats on. He tried reversing. Oh, he's got some plastic out. He's got some boards out. Trying to get out. That's interesting. <clears throat> and let's see. Oh, there he is. So older dude. That's all right. The guy worked for a living. He saved his money and bought his toy. Good for him. He's trying to figure out how to get out of this mess. Deflate the tires a bit and you can put a board if you know what you're doing, you can get a toe strap, a ratchet strap, and you can put a board like you're stuck in mud. And then you put the board perpendicular to the tire as best you can. And then just have it flap, 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 and widens your basic footprint to get the heck out of the uh, sand or snow or mud. Amazed the guy is that close taking his picture. I mean, come on, man. You're getting a little cocky. All right. So let's go look at another one. So what's he known now? He is now backing up going the wrong way. All right. Hold on. Oh, I want to see this post. All right. So he's rolling up on the Tesla truck. Nick, yeah, <laughs> there's the comment. Nantucket current arrested for stalking. And what is wrong with what the guy did? He just backed up to do a three point turn. No one seems to mind. There's no signs that said, do not do it. This is just one of these Karens that live in Nantucket, the elitists. Didn't they send a bunch of migrants there and they quickly got rid of them because they, didn't, they said not in my backyard? Uh, yeah. Nope, reader submitted photos and video. I think, yeah, this is a scary place to go. Uh, I don't know what's going on this island. I would just keep my eyes open. It's kind of making, giving out creep vibes to go to Nantucket. Look at him, he's covering. He's coping and seething. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, there was once a truck from Nantucket, blah, blah, blah. It was a big deal. Let's see. Here we go. He's stuck here on the, on the crosswalk. Ooh. Uh, what's this guy going? Look at those janky body panels. His truck is basically new. Even Yugo's look less beat than these sad truck excuses. All right. There's a lot of, a lot of Tesla truck hate in this uh, area. So I'm not sure what's going on. Anyway, I thought it was cool to see that uh, this thing was, you know, it's got some hate. Burning some hate up in Nantucket. Uh, got stuck in the sand like most trucks do get stuck in the sand. So I don't know what the problem is here. But this guy is right on top of him, stalking him. So that's kind of creepy. So uh, I think Nantucket, if you want to get visitors to your island, you might want to not have all these creepers creeping around stalking people. Yeah, I don't know. Just my take. But anyway, there you go. 
we got a, a rogue, out of control Tesla truck doing uh, parking and backing up and getting stuck in the sand. Oh my God. Oh my God. The outrage. Anyway, I thought that was interesting. Go check it out. What do you guys think about Tesla, Tesla, Tesla truck? Will Tesla stock ever come back? Will I get my money back or do I take my loss? What do I do? That's the real question there. All right. Nantuck and Kurt, keep doing God's work. It's impressive what you're doing up there. Actually pathetic, but anyway, go forth to great things. How do I stop this video?